I want you to know something. I love you. Why are you telling me this? That is strange. Unpredictable. Anything can happen tomorrow. And I need you to know. You're my first. This will always be special. Stop! Please, Joel, don't do this. You think I do this with just anyone? Maybe you should just let me go. I won't tell anyone. I didn't want it to be anything more than what it was. So that's what I am now to you? Uh, no. You want me to forget about this? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Tell me you won't remember me. For as long as you live. I never thought this would happen to me. I never wanted this. But well, maybe... I mean, what? Is this really what you want? Huh? I mean, the best I... Play, plans hardly ever go the way they're supposed to. You said you said... Life is unpredictable. But you can do something about it. It's all about what I believe, okay? It's about truth. And the truth is that we're here, you and me, right now, in this moment. We've taken it so far. And we should take this further. Further? Where further? Where do you want to take this? Where it's meant to go. Meant to go? So it's a matter of destiny for you now? <sighs> the only certain thing in life is death. Don't. Leave me, Alex. I don't want to leave you, yeah? I'm not going to leave you. But maybe we just need some time even to think over this. I mean, maybe you're just confused. I'm not confused, okay? Maybe you're not confused. Maybe you just need to reevaluate. Reevaluate this. You son of a bitch. You asshole. <laughs>Sitting in the cafe, ordering their coffees. The distance between them was unhidden. She was probably wondering, why did I say yes to this? He looked at me. He looked at me again. Again he looked at me, and then. Can I have some salt? Salt? Yeah. Salt? Who has salt with coffee? Do you always have salt with your coffee? <laughs> that's, that's an interesting story. My grandfather used to... As she sipped on her coffee, she told him stories of her past. She told him how she got lost in the streets of Zurich and how she escaped 9-11. She told him she loved traveling, she loved umbrellas, she loved dancing, working out, and she reminded him that she loved writing in journals. She told him everything about her. Well, almost everything. She told him black was her favorite color. She liked reading Mills and Boons. And she reminded him again that whatever she is, is a true Virgo personality. She even laughed at one of his jokes, but said she laughs more on the inside. I find that funny. Her right arm said, believe in the way. I wish he didn't, but that's when he realized he had stepped off the edge and fallen into love. Did your grandfather really?
dear mother why does it feel like i'm walking through a tunnel there's so much i don't know and so much i can't see today i reject your choices mom Hey baby, I don't know, it might take a while, there's a lot of money involved and yeah, it's just fucking annoying dealing with this bullshit all the fucking time. <laughs> Who am I meeting? Hans, I think. <laughs> Sweetheart, no. Sweetheart, shh, shh. There's no one else in my life apart from you, and there can never be, okay? <laughs> I cannot wait to see you tonight, okay? And let's get away from all of this once this is all done. You know, let's get the fuck out of this shithole. Yeah? Okay? Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna make it. Yeah, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it, man. My name is David Blinn, and this is my last letter. Well, 
Huh? <gasps> 